other programming languages and uh, the conclusion is that as compared to other programming languages python is much simpler than other programming languages so when you try with the programming with python then you can able to say that python is very simple language python is english like language python is flexible language and you cannot think the programming in python is as simple or as compared to other programming languages the structure of python the skeleton of python is totally different than other programming languages if you take the overview from last 30 years when there was basic language there was pascal language cobol language and now a days we are working with c c++ and java programming language when you uh, when you write any program through these languages you must start the program what is the meaning of that you must write begin you must write main you must write opening bracket all these are all these are the uh, structures of the programming languages but in the python programming language there is no any begin there is no any opening bracket or opening uh, parenthesis and like that and that's why if you compare with other programming languages is totally different and last time we also discuss whenever you are the expert of c programming language then you can write the program in c programming language and integrate that program with python programming language that is by the or with the help of c python so if you are the expert in java programming language then you can write the program in java and integrate that program in python or edit that program in python and that that uh, that interpreter is known as j python or jthon like that in this fashion there are so many such a type of interpreters last time we discussed two three interpreters and uh, uh, after uh, when we write a structure when we write actual programs uh, in python then we can see which interpreter we are using so now the today's topic is that is the need of python so all of you know that need of python need of python like that this is the today's topic what is need of python so uh, when we discuss what is the need of python why anybody else uh, why anybody else wants to write a program in python is python is becomes very popular than other programming languages can other programming languages are useless as compared to python the answer is 100% no because other programming languages are also so important but the applications in the next topic there are the applications of python but what uh, uh, when we start the program if the structure of any programming language becomes very complex or is very complex then we cannot write the program in that programming language if the structure is very familiar with us then we can write a program in that particular programming language and python fulfills all the necessities of the easiestness and that's why we are using python so uh, we are going uh, through some uh, uh, 
PowerPoint slides through which we can use the Yes, this time, na? Hello. Yes, ah, yes. This is our topic that is need of Python. This is need of Python. What is this? So all of you know that in my first lecture we discuss what we discuss. Python is a general purpose and high level programming language. You can use Python for developing desktop GUI applications, graphic user interface applications websites and web applications also python as a high level programming language allows you to focus on core functionality of the application by taking care of common programming tasks the simple syntax rules of programming language further makes it easier for you to keep the code readable and application is maintainable so all the features is object oriented, is general purpose programming language, is GUI based application language, is a high level language. So one, not a single application is there. All the applications, all type of software developments can be possible through Python. And that's why if you, if you study the previous two, three years, then for images still we are using matlab but nowadays there is no need to use matlab because python can itself use in the uh, image pro processing gui type of applications we are using so much programming like html javascripts vb scripts for writing big, big websites, for developing web applications. But nowadays, it is not necessary to go through all these because Python, through Python, it is possible to develop web applications. So that's why, uh, that's why need of Python is there. But uh, some, uh, some reasons, some exact reasons are there through which we can say that Python is very much important nowadays. So first is readable and maintainable code. What is the meaning of readable and maintainable code? What is that? So all of you know that. All of you know that whenever we whenever we write uh, any type of a program, that program must be simple. Whenever we write whenever we write a code, that code must be simple. What do you mean by simple? Whenever anybody else try to modify or yourself, if you want to modify the code after some days, that code can be easily maintainable. Because of in the software engineering, there are so many, there are so many conclusions are there that 100% there is no any software that is developed as a 100% error free. And that's why whenever we develop any application, any software, the errors are remaining in that. And whenever in future, when we want to correct the errors, that can be easily correctable. That is known as maintainable. That is what that is known as maintainable. So after some days, when you try to modify our code, we cannot understand why, for what purpose we write this code. Because that is not easily readable. And that's why in Python, the code is readable and maintainable, and that's why it is easy to write the program in that. So next is there, multiple programming paradigms are there. What are the multiple programming paradigms? You know what is paradigms in English? What is paradigms? Yes, anybody else? 
मराठी मधे मटल जमुना पैराडिगैम्स मे नमुना आप प्रत्येक प्रकार से मार्केट मधे जो अपन संगत एखाद शॉप मध्य जो अपन संगत कि मेरा शर्ट घ तो मला वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारच्या क्वालिटीचे वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारच्या डिझाईनचे शर्ट्स मला दाखव असतात सगळे शर्ट्स बट फ्रॉम दॅट यू वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट एनी वन विच वन इज सुट और बेस्ट फॉर यू व्हॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ दॅट व्हॉट आर द नंबर ऑफ शर्ट्स बिफोर यू टेन शर्ट्स आर बिफोर यू अँड आउट ऑफ दॅट यू आर सिलेक्टिंग ओनली वन सो टेन शर्ट्स आर नथिंग बट द पॅराडिगॅम्स ऑफ शर्ट्स and that's why multiple programming paradigms before you are there you can write a program in high level programming language you can write a program on objects you can write a program on images you can write a program on database like that so such a type of many paradigms are there and that's why it is very too easy to write a program in uh, python next one is there compatible with major platforms and system compatible with major platforms and system what is the meaning of that so uh, in the next coming sessions we will discuss and how to install python and all of you know that python you can install for windows as well as linux unix macintosh type of operating systems and that's why it is it is a uh, platform suitable major platforms on which you can execute you can store you can write a program using python on multiple platforms robust and standard library what do you mean by robust and standard library so all of you know that c++ is the programming language and whenever you want to write a code you must include some library files if you want to write a program in c you must include some library files if you want to write a program in java you must import some library files you must import some packages that packages contains what that packages contain their library so every programming language have a libraries set of library but if you study the python there are the huge number of libraries are present in python and that's why whenever you type you, you you start any operation with python then there are the standard library documentation how to use this how to use this uh, function or how to use this library there is the documentation available in python and that's why there is the robust many open source frameworks and tools actually python is the open source programming language python is the project that is open source and that's why the supporting software of python are also open source the frameworks in that are also open source so you all of you know that there are so many frameworks are available in python which can be usually useful like that so all of you know that whenever we uh, start to write a program in java then for java there is the uh, there is the one type of uh, editor which is very popular with java and all of you know that that is text pad correct notepad is also there but python have a such a type of open source editors are there so like pycharm is there anaconda is there pycharm is very popular for python anaconda is there so such a type of uh, id integrated development editors integrated development tools are available and which are open source simplify complex software development all of you know that when we write two three lines of program then we becomes very happy but whenever you want to develop big applications then at that time at that time the process of software development is very difficult and so whenever we uh, whenever we start to develop software through python then you can easily simplify because 
modularity is one of the popular application of python you can write a functions you can write a procedures you can call procedures you can call functions all these are there just write a paragraph and that paragraph is the program and program can be compiled this is not the way to write uh, any type of uh, application anybody is who cannot have any previous knowledge of programming can write a program in python and that's why whenever if if you if anybody else are saying to you that for python you must know c++ you must know java you must know c this is the wrong concept because of when you want to capture python when you want to write applications in python there is no necessity to know, knowing the any type of a previous knowledge of any type of a programming language you can directly start the code in python so this is the need of python next one is there features are very long list of features are there of python what are the features is it to learn python has few keywords simple structure and clarity defined syntax easy to read python code is more clearly defined and visible to the eyes easy to maintain python source code is fairly easy to maintain python programs can run on any platform you can carry code created in windows machine and run it on macintosh or linux like that so there is the there you can transfer the code of python between the operating systems python has inbuilt large library with prebuilt and portable functionality also known as standard library python is an expressive language python is a free and open source it can be easily integrated with c c++ com activex corba and java so i already told the interpreters which are made for these programming languages python can be both dynamically and strongly typed dynamically typed means what all of you know that what is dynamically typed so 100% we are sure when you want to define any variable in programming language in c++ maybe in java in c you must write the variable in this fashion integer i like that in this fashion so what is the meaning of that whenever we write integer i you must define this i in the form of integer value like like that uh, 12 34 like that 955 in this fashion it cannot accept the value in this fashion like that in this fashion 12 54.8 or in the form of float like that whenever we we define the variable in integer whenever we define the variable in integer then it is not possible it cannot be possible to defined in this fashion but in python you can directly write you can directly write i is equal to 45 there is no need to define variable what is the meaning of that that is dynamically typed dynamically typed means what i may be integer i may be float i may be real i may be double like that all these are there data types are there in python but there is no need to define in this fashion what is the meaning of that that is known as dynamically typed so uh, i write in my here which means in python there is no need to define the type of the variable here in python there is no need to type or define the variable python is scalable what do you mean by scalable what do you mean by scalable you can expand python the code you can expand in more simpler form again in simpler form that is known as scalable you can you can write a code in very easiest form until anybody else cannot understand that code you can define it you can scale it in a finer form in a finer granule that is the very simplicity of python it supports automatic garbage collections whenever we store the data in some memory variables the the memory variables can be occupied by particular data and whenever we start to execute some other programs actually these variables are full that is known as garbage collection so it can support to remove the automatic garbage collections python supports multiple programming paradigms which 
we already discussed that object oriented functional programming procedural style image processing python provides interface to all major commercial databases all major commercial databases what do you mean by what do you mean by so whenever we we uh, or you read the uh, applications of python are very big nowadays whenever we start working with working with data so do, 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 don't matter that your data should be only student data your data should be only library data but whenever you uh, start the start to write the programs on uh, financial data that data can be easily interrelated with python because of such a type of tools can be supported to python such a type of softwares can be supported to python is very popular whenever we, whenever you shift over the data from python to any other software which can maintain the data that is known as pandas pandas is very popular software through which you can dump the data from python to pandas and that's why uh, the applications when you write uh, in the big data then you can use pandas so provide gui support applications like that libraries are there windows system is there window mfc call are there macintosh system is there window operating system is there so uh, when we discuss about this one so now sorry applications of python what are the applications are many more are not this the the uh, knowledge of the application is not very short the applications are not only 10 there are so many applications but some selected applications for our curriculum for our syllabi we must know some important applications and that's why i put some important applications before you of the python python is uh, known for its general purpose nature that applies it to every domain of software development the dragon can be used in any area of development here we are specifying the application area where the python can be applied web applications what what today all of you know that what are which are the or what are the types of application in your software engineering there is the very first chapter in which there are the applications of software so this these are the applications of software but these are not general purpose these are the applications of python and python is the software and that's why before we go through applications of python all of you must know the applications of software is 100% true but i am taking the overview of the applications of soft software first don't go through the direct applications of python all of you know that there are some common applications of there are some common applications of software which applications know, you know the applications of software which applications you know all of you know that for what purpose we are writing softwares what are the applications means what means what very first is there that is the general purpose general purpose like that. what is the general purpose all of you know that when you see the softwares are available generally means what you know that there are the softwares in shopping malls shopping malls there are the software in the railways there are the software in medical stores there are the softwares like that in library there are the software in hospital there are the software like that all these are general purpose softwares and it is not compulsory that you must define the medical store software in java only like that it is not necessary you can develop that software in any programming paradigm 
But if you use Python for developing the software, it becomes very easy for you. Because as per the need of Python, we discuss the library in the, the libraries in the Python are robust. Large number of libraries are available and you does not create any difficulty when you write or develop the applications in Python. So second one is second application is there. There is the database. When you want to manage any type of a very large databases, you can write the database application. In Python, you can write this one. Third one is there, that is web-based. Web-based applications are there. Nowadays, what we are doing, all of you, all of you taken the admissions through online admission software, which is made by our of our college which is developed by our of our college it is not material in which software so in which software that admission system is developed 100 percent is not developed in python but as per the as per the view of programmer as per the interest of programmer programmer can choose or select the platform through which we can develop the software and our admission system software is developed in .NET application that is another thing but whenever we go through these database application web based application next application is there that is some AI applications are there artificial intelligence applications are there fifth one is there embedded systems are there what is the meaning of embedded all of you know that what is embedded system nowadays everybody knows that how the kitchens are works how our how our kitchens are work nowadays a small ovens are available in our kitchen and every oven is controlled by what every oven is controlled by microprocessor and that's why there is the automation and what is the microprocessor Every oven is controlled by microprocessor means what oven control sorry oven is controlled by some embedded system and that system controls your oven. So in this fashion in aeroplane there is the embedded system there is the computerized control and that control can be control your airplane aeroplane and that is known as embedded system correct all of you know that. So these are these applications that I discussed, one, two, three, four, five, and many more applications are there in softwares. In software engineering's first chapter, the uh, teacher will discuss with you which are the applications of software. But we are our focus is not on the applications of software, but our focus is on the applications of Python. Correct? Our focus is on the applications of Python. And 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 which are the applications of Python? Applications of Python. Like that. So very first is there. That is the wave application. Wave application. Nowadays. Nowadays, this is the very fast and popular way to develop software. Our admission system is the web application because this is online. Because whatever you want to uh, see, you can see by entering the name of website www.basponccollege.org. That is the web application. And in Python, you can develop the websites, you can develop web applications in very simpler way. There are the medium through which you can develop. So HTML is there, XML is there, JSON is there, like that. Number of programming features, number of programming paradigms can support when we write web application. All of you know that HTML, all of you know that XML is integrated with Python. All of you know that JSON, Java script object notation. JavaScript object, uh, sorry, object notation through which, through which we can develop the application. Desktop GUI application, 
second one is their desktop GUI application like that. What is GUI? Graphical user interface is the GUI. Correct? Graphical user interface is the GUI. And uh, you can uh, develop the applications of uh, GUI. There are uh, the interfaces of Pythons through the widgets KV PYQ. PYQ is that. PYQ WX KV. These are the uh, uh, tools which can support. Next one is software development. Control management is there, testing paradigms are there, you can develop software, scientific and numeric type of applications you can develop. So SkyPy, Pandas, IPython, SkyPy is the group of packages of engineering, sciences and mathematics. SkyPy is there, like that, SkyPy, SkyPy is there, which is used for engineering types of applications, which can support to the... Uh, Python program paradigms. Next one is there, that is the business application software is there. ERP is one of the uh, important uh, applications nowadays, enterprise resource planning. And in that, uh, such a type of software, you can develop through Python by using ERP type of software. Then control, console based applications you can design by using IPython ipython is one of the integrate uh, integ integrated tool which can use or develop the pythons audio or video based applications audio and video based applications are there c play can support for that c play can support for python audio and video type of applications you can write 3d applications you can write enterprise applications you can write by using by using triton and pecalo Triton is one of the integration tool. Triton is there and Petalo is there. Picalo is there through which we can develop the applications. Then image processing we can perform through Python. And the very popular tool is there, vPython. So these type of uh, softwares you can design with Python. So, uh, need features and applications of Python. And uh, do you clear, all of you clear all these concepts? Yes? Yes? Yes, sir. Ha, ha, yes, yes. Very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, whatever the topics we discuss uh, from last lecture and today's lecture, I will send the, all the notes of these topics up to the up to the applications of Python through Google Classroom. Correct? All, all you must collect these notes and then after completion of the first chapter, I will give some questions. I will give some questions or assignments to you. I request all of you to timely complete that assignments and uh, whatever the questions are there which are for you and uh, in this fashion so next uh, when we when we try uh, to develop or when we try to work with python how can we work with python so th the next topic is there of our syllabus installing python so it is very easy to install python but uh, i will take your uh, real installation process through zoom and you will try for your desktop or your laptop and you can install python so in the next lecture we will discuss how to install python is very important for you not every topic is not important on the base of exam everybody when you when we cover the topic how to install python everybody can able to install python easily because nowadays, nowadays every IT company is uh, calling you as a basis from work from home. And that's why at that time 
if you say them that I cannot able to install Python, I, I have no, no any knowledge about how to install Python, then this is a very bad job. And that's why it is very it is not very difficult. But whenever you does not try, then it is very difficult for you. And in the next lecture, uh, we will see how to install Python. Thank you. Apple dusra lecture lage shuru hoyil. Tata password sorry. Tata code vega hai. Pakta password BHB one two three hai. Yaalena lakshya chagan na. Hello. Oh sir. Tata hi password BHB one two three hai. Pakta meeting code vega hai. Aata mi meeting exit karto hai. Apan lage IT ke mullar aana re tapple orvar. Apan dalayu. Okay.